Hey, Chris Cran again, and we're going to talk about the AMZ Seller um, Browser. Sorry, AMZ Seller Browser. Now, this is a cool little extension. Uh, one of the great things that I actually like about it is it's, it's right here. It looks like a little shopping cart. <clears throat> and all you got to do is Google it, AMZ Seller Browser, to get it. It's free. But what I really like is my extension space is already at a premium. So I can right click on it, hit hide in the Chrome menu, and it still works because it's an in page uh, extension. And so all of the information that it pulls actually shows up on the page. So it does a lot of cool things here. Let's get into it. First of all, when I search for, say, dolls, it will pull up the current bestseller ranking. If you hover over that, that red number there, it's going to give you a bunch of other information. It's going to give you the product dimensions, the item weight, the shipping weight. Uh, it's going to give you the ASIN, the model number, manufacturer information, and then it's going to break down the... <clears throat> no, sorry. It's going to break down that bestsellers rank into uh, the subcategories that it's in. So you can see that this is 1,414 in toys and games, but it's 147 in baby and toddler toys and 21 in dolls. Uh, so this is a great seller. Um, that's really cool. Now, one of the other things, you hover over BSR history and it will give you the best seller ranking of this item back for now it looks like uh, back to almost a year maybe a full year so it looks like it pulls up the full year it's also going to give you price history for the full year you can see where the prices have gone they've gone up they've gone down you can click on brand it's going to open up another tab for you and you're going to be able to see that brand's page. Okay, so it pulls up 8,726 Melissa and Doug items for you to look at. Okay, so that could give you some ideas if you have Melissa and Doug items like this here that sells well. You could go ahead and search through all those other items that also sell well, and uh, and then go after just a niche of, uh, of toys or sporting goods or anything else that's in the same brand that might sell well. Uh, I'm going to be making another video on, on what I think is a good idea to do with this. It also gives you the ASIN. So if you need to put this into another program, it's really easy to copy and paste. You can see that this is sold by Amazon and you can see how many sellers, how many FBA sellers are on the item at any one time. Uh, and that's all without even going into the product page. So it gives you a really nice snapshot uh, and even an in-depth snapshot of what that product is before you even click on it. So for example, this may be something I might see if I could get for a couple of dollars, uh, maybe on clearance somewhere. And then let's see if I can find... Here we go. This American Girl Mary Ellen doll, uh, I can see it's going for 349 bucks, but I can also see that the the rank is pretty high. So unless I can, you know, find it for inexpensive, or you know, whatever, I'm probably not going to buy that. And we can see from the BSR history that, you know, it does sell, but it's not going to be something that's a quick flip. And who knows, it may be rather expensive. Uh, and it may not be for me, but that's uh, that's another way you can use this just really, really quickly without even digging through it. So I hope this helps. It's just another really cool free tool to be able to help you make decisions, see information uh, at a glance. And uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you wouldn't mind, just give me a quick thumbs up if this video helped at all. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.